Okay, I'm going to install a second M.2 NVMe SSD into this computer. I have a terabyte one under the video card, tucked away or up here maybe. I can't remember, must be up there. So I'm gonna put it in this slot here. So I'm gonna have to rip out this sound card, take this, this heat sink off where I can then install the new SSD. So the things you'll need for to do this is an SSD, NVMe M.2. My motherboard, the Strix, what is it? The ROG Strix Gaming F or something, the B550F. It comes with the little screws that you need because you're gonna have to screw it in place once, once it's in there. It comes with the screws with the motherboard. Uh, when I built this computer, I threw all that stuff away. So I had to go to Amazon and buy this for a couple bucks. It comes with the screws you need. Cause I didn't have the proper one. So I spent like, I don't know, five bucks for 30 different little pieces here. Okay. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this sound card out because it is blocking my, uh, where my SSD is gonna go in. I need some light. Okay, that's the heat shield down there. Some other boards have them, some don't. Take this sound card out. Because it's in the way. Whoops. Where'd that go? I'll have to go back and watch the video and see where that fell. Okay, it fell into here. It's in the power supply compartment, so I'll get that later. Okay, now you can see the heat sink there, and it's got the two little screws holding it in, so let's take that off. And I'm going to be more careful taking this screw out so it also doesn't fall. Okay, I got both my little screws loose, and now I'm just going to pull this heat sink cover off i have the benefit of having small little girl hands so i can just reach in there nicely and pull it up without having to take out my video card so i'm going to set this aside okay actually i'm going to explain this the heat sink this is the back of the heat sink it has this little thermal pad on it so we're going to want to take the little protective blue strip that's covering this pad off before we put this back on to the SSD so that the heat can be transferred from the SSD into the thermal pad. So we'll have to take this blue tape off that pad right there. Okay, this is where the SSD goes in, right in there. You'll be able to slide it in there and make sure the pins are aligned in there, right? So these three holes here, are what you mount your SSD to. Depending on the size of your, what is that on my finger? Depending on the size of your SSD, the length of it, you'll use the proper hole. Now there are little standoff screws that you gotta put in here. So I'm gonna do that, a little standoff. And my length of SSD goes into this one here, this last one. Put that in. Okay, I gotta zoom out here. Screw that in. Noise. Okay. Standoff is in. Standoff is in. Take your SSD. And
slide it in the slot there, just like how you would a uh, graphics card into the slot it goes into. Except when you line this one up, you got to go in at like a 30 degree angle or so, 30 or 40, I forget what it is. Just go in on an angle. And it it doesn't really click, or at least this one isn't. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but it, it's in there. Then you want to bend it down. And it lines up with my standoff screw, so I'm good to go. I'm going to go ahead and screw that boy in there. Steady, steady. Come on, David. Come on, come on, come on. Don't screw this up. Whoa, there we go, it's in. Screw, baby, screw. And just snug it up. You don't have to put too much force on it, just nice and snug. And that's it. Now, a lot of motherboards, they don't come with these little heat covers. So, you'd be done installing it. But me, I'm going to put mine back on. I'm going to go ahead, peel this blue tape off, or blue whatever, plastic covering. Off the heat pad. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm trying to get any dust or anything on there. Hopefully, not screw anything up. I think I got it first try there. Obviously, if you're installing this before you build your computer, do it when the motherboard is out of the case without all the components in the case. It's a lot easier. And just snug the heat sink back on. Not to be too tight, just snug. There, snug. Okay, let's plug it in, power it up, and format it. Okay, that's where it is. In there, got the sound card back in, got the screw back. Look at this dust. Ugh. Okay, start it up. Okay, I started up the PC. I didn't get any blue screens of death, so that's convenient. Now, you set this bad boy up in Windows. I didn't go into the BIOS or anything because it's just a secondary storage device. So right click down on your Windows, go to device, no, disk management. Disk management. Click that, this will pop up, and look, it prompts me. You must initialize a disk before Logical Disk Manager can access it. Disk 1. So disk 0, as you can see, what is my original boot drive with Windows on it and everything else that I've been using. It's a terabyte drive, it's got 931 gigabytes, and it's online, right? Disk zero, that was my initial hard drive that I had installed. Disk one is this one I just put in. It's got two, ter two terabytes, 18, 60 gigabytes, but it's not initialized yet, so it won't show up.
So we are going to initialize this disk. If this doesn't pop up right when you open up this disk management, you gotta like right click on this disk one thing. Here, I'll show you. Cancel that box. Right click on disk one and initialize disk. Did you see that? Right click on that red arrow, initialize disk. We're gonna do GPT. You must initialize this before logic. Okay, and that's what we're gonna do. Okay, GPT. Don't ask me about the differences. I'm not a nerd. Okay, it's online, it says. It's still unallocated. So we're gonna right click on this here. New simple volume. New simple volume wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. Okay, next. Simple volume size. That's the max, that's what I'm gonna do. I wanna use my whole disc. Sign the following letter, let's pick a letter. You know, C is usually the default for a boot drive. We'll go D, my name's David. Sign the following, mount in the following empty. I don't know what any of that means. You just select which one you want or whatever. So click that. Next. Choose whether you want to format this volume and if so, what settings do you want to use? Fi yes, you want to use NTFS file, allocation, default volume label, you can name it. Let's name it something because I like naming my electronics because when the robots take over, I want to be known as someone who treated them well. Let's name it Onyx because that's a cool name. Form a quick format. Yep. Next. Completing this wizard. Finish. And it's done. There we go. Onyx showed up down in there. So my local disk with all my Windows junk, operating system, pro, all the stuff on the main disk. And then I have this disk, which is empty. So this is just gonna be a storage disk, uh, storage SSD. And that's it, baby, that's it. Peace.